Today, I'm gonna do something really spicy and really crunchy and really satisfying in the form of kohlrabi sweet potato fritters with an avocado yogurt creme fraiche. <laughs> hurt me. Right here, we've got our handy dandy Blendtec blender. Any blender will do, because this is very easy and only has four ingredients to our dressing. To your blender, add about a cup of coconut yogurt. And if there's extra coconut yogurt, just take care of it. Mm. Then, to add a nice tart undertone to the flavor, I want you to go ahead and add a half of a organic lemon. We're gonna add a half of an organic avocado. In the Mesoamerican cultures, was known as aguacatl, which means testicle. I wonder why. And then last, for a perfect salt balance, we're gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. Now, we're gonna blend for 30 Dirty Birdie and get this super creamy and ready for our fritters. That's the consistency we want right there. Mm. Tangy, savory. So let's go ahead and put our avocado yogurt creme fraiche aside and get right to making our fritters. That's the fritter dance. You may learn it and use it in your home kitchen as well. This right here, this is kohlrabi. These are delicious because they are kind of like a turnip-y, radishes-y, cool thing. Cut off the stems. So since this is a little bit thick, I'm gonna go ahead and peel it real quick. So now at this point, we've got our kohlrabi peeled along with two peeled medium sweet potatoes. So at this point, go ahead and turn on your food processor. Make sure you have the uh, fine shred blade in there. And we're gonna alternate kohlrabi, sweet potato, kohlrabi, sweet potato, so we have a nice even mixture. So what we're going for here is like a nice thin coleslaw type of consistency with our shreds. And at this point, go ahead and transfer your shreds to a mixing bowl and use a napkin or a paper towel or a cloth to press out some of the excess liquid. And the next thing you know, you have a uh, used towel that is the color of orange sherbet. No big deal here. Now right here I have a spice blend of um, a half teaspoon of sea salt, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. Add that all into your shreds. Now to bind our fritters, we're gonna need two extra special ingredients. First, we have some ground flax seeds that have been hydrated with some water. So go ahead and add two tablespoons of your rehydrated ground flax. And then finally, to really bind it together and to bump up the protein, I'm gonna be adding three tablespoons of our Sun Warrior Warrior Blend Natural Protein. Now the only way to do this next step is to get your hands dirty. You gotta work it. You really gotta get deep because uh, that flax egg mixture is so sticky and it requires some pretty voracious hand mixing. After you mix it vigorously, what you end up with is a sticky, malleable fritter patty. Fritter in the sky keeps on turning. Yes, you'll be in my belly soon, my dear. We're gonna heat up some safflower oil or coconut oil in our skillet and fry these babies up. Take a neutral tasting oil. Uh, I like either a safflower or coconut oil. Add it to a large skillet and bring it up to a medium heat. Take your fritters and put them down into the hot oil until they're nice and golden brown on both sides. About three to five minutes on each side. You may need to add a little extra oil to compensate for the flaxiness. Go ahead and lift these gently out of the pan. And then after you have your fritters down on the plate, go ahead and grab your avocado yogurt creme fraiche and spoon a nice generous amount on top of each one. Finish it with a little bit of smoked paprika on top. We've gotta to do the finale and take it to the face. See how we've done here. Mm, that is delicious. Combine the old school with the new school to make you drool. That's how we do. Mm. I'm gonna devour the rest of these fritters, probably fry up another batch. See you guys soon.